guys, it's a bit of a different video for me today. Yesterday I made my own head chain and then someone asked me to do a video tutorial so I thought, why not? Um, also I'm filming back on my iPad just so it's a little bit quicker for me. I'll show you how I made my own head chain. Um, I made it out of beaded necklace from Primark and then I had some old earrings that I never wore and I'm going to use this kind of pearly drop bit from the bottom. Also you're going to need tweezers to kind of pull apart the links so then you can customise it into your own head chain. So this is the head chain that I made yesterday. I thought I would just show you it on. Um, then I'm going to make another one. These pearls are a little bit different. These ones kind of have like bigger and smaller kind of pearl beads. This one I'm going to show you how I did it but these are all just the same size so in a way that will be easier. This one was a bit fiddly because I had to kind of match them and kind of so they had the same kind of pattern going on. This should be more straightforward but I thought I would just show you the one that I made. So first you're going to want to remove parts that you want so from this earring use the tweezers to then remove the part you want. So this is the part that's going to dangle from the head chain. And for this necklace I don't need this massive pendant so I'm going to undo a link so I can remove it like so. So what I do first is I do the bit that goes like through the middle and um, if you want you can do this bit first but that's just how I did it so I'm not showing you literally how I did it. Um, you can always adjust this and then I kind of get it to stop kind of where at the back of your head, your head kind of would start curving. So then hold that bit and then take your tweezers and as I showed you in the close up, just pull apart the link and you have the bit that goes down the middle. And then we put that bit to one side and then take the rest of the necklace Although I have realised this necklace is actually shorter than my last one so I won't quite have the kind of as a drapey head chain. I think this one will be more fitted to the head. That actually fits my head perfectly. Those ends together and with the tweezers close the gap. You can also get chain from craft shops and you can buy that by the metre so then you won't have the restriction of kind of whatever necklace you've bought. So that goes along the top and then you're going to fix the top bit to the sides. So we'll start off kind of do that. So take one end of the bit that goes along the middle and we can put that anywhere at the moment. And closing that up. Then if you put it in half, you'll know where to put it on the other side. So it's so open by the other side and then put it in there and close. Using tweezers it's so much easier before. I would just use my hands like gripping on my nails but then I was destroying my nails and my nail varnish. So then we put that on. As I said, as my necklace was a bit shorter, it is sitting a lot higher up. Um, if this bit was longer, um, it would drape really nicely, like the last one I showed you. So next, you want to attach your chosen piece to the head chain and fix it on. So now I've added this bit and this is the final look of the head chain. I hope this was useful, it wasn't quite the final result that I was expecting like I got from the last one I did but that necklace was obviously a lot longer. Perhaps it is better to go to a craft store where you can buy kind of chains and beads so you can, I think you can buy them like at a meter so the length can be completely up to you rather than I have obviously been a bit restricted by this necklace but I'm still actually really happy with it. I like how maybe because when I first was playing around with the first one they did, I found perhaps it was too drapey, but actually I quite like, it is slightly 
but actually I do do quite like this one. So I hope I've shown you how kind of straightforward and easy it is to make your own head chain. These are becoming very popular at the moment and I've seen quite a few around. So it's nice just to make your own ones kind of being original and no one else will have it. If you did want to recreate more like the first one I showed you, all I did was add chain from the middle, say if this looped down more, like that, I'd just attach it to the side so then I'd have it going across and the loop. So that's really really straightforward to add that kind of aspect to it. If you actually wanted this head chain I am going to do a giveaway on Instagram so if you want to go have a look you don't have to follow me that's not part of what I'm going to say you have to do to win this um, but my username is down below so if you want to go have a look to see how to enter and to have a chance to win this. So thumbs up if you did like this video and thanks for all the positive feedback I've had from my last outfit of the day video that was kind of like a test to see how it went and you guys liked it so look out for in the future I'm going to do some outfit videos obviously showing more than one outfit as I said in the description of my last video and showing you styling ones that's been requested as well also other videos requested is tattoos and piercings um, so yes, if you have any other suggested videos you'd like me to do, then please keep them coming. Again, I am rambling on, but um, so yes, want to win this, go look on Instagram and see how to enter. But yes, thanks for watching. Hello, so today I'm going to show you how I put in my hair extensions. This is quite a requested video on both Instagram and YouTube, so I thought as I have just had my roots done, they are a little bit warm, so sorry about that.